this video, we're going to be talking about how to set up um, Azure DevOps in a CI CD pipeline to help better automate the ways in which you deploy resources to Azure. So typically um, in Visual Studio Code, when we're working with um, any of our Terraform code, we have to put all the commands we want in imperatively to run, um, plan, destroy anything that we want. So typically that can take some time. Um, you can run into mistakes. Um, you know, if you're working within the team, you know, you're possibly using even a local um, state file. So you can't share the resource creation amongst your team members. So using Azure DevOps is an easy way to accomplish this. And I'm gonna walk you through that here now. So if you go to dev.azure.com, um, and sign up. It's free. There's no charge there. Um, probably some charge for things that's um, that they'll list out on their site, but nothing as far as for what we're going to be doing here today. So I set up a project called Terraform, and in that project, um, I pushed all my code to the repo here, so you can see everything that I have um, in my Visual Studio Code, which might not show everything, but you can see have some of the stuff there. It's um, pushed up here basically. So what I'm going to do is, is now when, once you get this part set up, we're going to need to create a connection to Azure. So under the project settings, you go to your service connections. And then I just named it Azure DevOps. You can name it whatever you want, um, but just click up a new service connection and you want to select Azure Resource Manager. And then I did the service principle manual. Um, you can do the automatic one, but basically it just makes you uh, choose your scope level, subscription ID, um, sub uh, subscription name, service pr principle ID, and everything like that. If you want to make it a lot simpler, you can do the automatic one and it'll just have you sign into uh, to, um, Azure there. So this is what allows you to connect your um, release pipeline or, you know, pipelines directly to Azure to be able to, you know, do a plan and an apply and build out the resources on a, a continuous basis. And then another thing I did uh, is I actually built my own um, self-hosted agent. So inside of Azure, I have a small Windows VM called Terraform Agent. And it's basically just, you know, really small. And that's what's gonna run my, uh, it's gonna house the files that will run on my release pipelines. So the great thing about that is you can use Azure's hosted ones or, uh, you, know, the, um, you know, the DevOps hosted ones. And basically um, those don't give you really customization of too much stuff. So with the self-hosted ones, like you can, install your own software, you, you, you manage the updates on it so you don't have to worry about it being updated too far up to not manage whatever tools and um, packages and things like that that you're using and stuff like that. So to do that, you just want to do an add pool, um, select your agent pool type is self-hosted, give it a name, and then inside of there, it's going to say you're going to click the new agent. And you basically want to choose, you know, Mac OS, Linux, or whatever, and then your architecture type. And you want to do a download. And then from there, you're just going to go onto your server and basically just run these, um, you know, instructions. It's really simple and straight through. And then now if I bring up the server here, let me bring this over here. Excited here. So here we go. Here, it's really just I built a folder called Agents, and I dropped the information as far as the config.cmd, and then you'll have to run that in PowerShell, and then it'll walk you through the installation uh, installation setup. And that's really it as far as that. After that, you don't really need to get on it. Is do anything unless you're installing some stuff like it updates and things like that. So that's it as far as for the project settings. Now we'll get over into the um, pipelines. 
And we'll basically need to have a way to copy our um, files from the repo over to our server. And we'll need to create what's called a pipeline to do that. And we'll, you'll do a new pipeline and you can do it as your repos get. Um, I'll show an example of that as well. But um, basically I just use the classic editor and you wanna choose your project your repository, um, and then the branch that you'll be scheduling the builds off of, and then you'll hit continue. And you wanna start with an empty pipeline, and it should look like this. And I'll take you back to the one I have set up and show you what it should look like. So you'll get my git sources, is my project, um, all this other stuff here, the agent, is going to be Terraform agents, or if you're using the Azure pipelines, it'll be that one. Or yours might say different name. That's just going to be whatever pool or uh, that you have your agents set in. And then you're going to hit this plus sign, and you're going to find the file or the the um, task that says copy files. You want to add that in there. And you want to basically, I changed the name, it's copies files to the artifact staging directory. It's a source folder. You want to click these three little dots and choose whatever folder you want to, um, you know, create this or create this pipeline for. So that's what files are going to get transferred over to the server. You want all the contents of that file. And then we basically set our folder to a target, um, the artifact staging directory. So. That's basically just a built-in pipeline. If you want to know more about the different types of variables that can be set in Azure DevOps, you can just Google Azure DevOps pipeline variables, and you'll see them down here when you scroll down. So these are just some of the different built-in variables for Azure. And, and you, so you can basically use those in different places. And then we'll need to publish this artifact so once we uh, copy the files, um, we'll need to publish this so that our release pipeline can essentially use those to um, run the different stages that it needs. So the published um, path to publish is basically going to be the build artifact directory, um, which it'll pull from you know our copy files. The artifact name is going to be drop, and then the publish location is going to be Azure pipelines. And then once you get that set up. You're going to save it and queue it, and then that's going to run a job that looks like this. And that's just a job that is copying everything, one artifact produced, which we can see here. It shows all the information that was in our um, repo. So now if we go to our releases, we need to create a release pipeline. So you could do this kind of step in the pipeline section. Um, it's nice to keep it in the releases because then you can do like some pre-approval steps, like, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, if you're doing a Terraform plan, someone on the team has to uh, approve of it before it can be um, allowed to go to the next stage and, and things like that. So you're going to do an empty job. And I'm just going to call this Terraform so it's basically you got to think of your stages as ways to create um, the steps that you would do manually um, and you're basically just creating those um, you know in a, in a sense in the same way so caught X out of that now we need to pull in our artifact that was created so as you can see the latest successful build published the following artifacts drop and then hit OK there. And then we need to add tasks to this stage. So the, a stage can have multiple tasks, um, just kind of like our pipelines there. So the agent job, it's going to be my Terraform agents. And then we're going to add another task here. It's going to be, we look for Terraform um, installer. And then we're going to add another task. 
in the Terraform CLI. Now I'm using the Charles Zip um, test. You can actually Google Charles Zip Terraform. And you can add that in there. That's just so that you can get like the Terraform CLI commands. Uh, I'm sure you could use the uh, Terraform one here, but I just kind of been using this one for a while and it's been, it works pretty, pretty great, pretty simple. So we'll add that one in there and we need to change the commands that we run. So basically if you think of it, it's just really taking the commands you would put in the terminal and applying them yourself. So our configuration directory is the default working directory. And we want to go down into this drop folder. I'm going to copy that. So we're going to do a Terraform init. Now we could do like a Terraform validate and whatever. So you can add whatever other commands you want to do, um, you know, to put in place. But I'm just going to do init and then plan. So, and then for now, for the plan, we're going to need to change the service connection to using the service connection we created for that Azure subscription. Uh, for the init, you can change like things like the back end to use like Azure RM, AWS, whatever you're using. I'm keeping it local um, and I'll manage that. We'll change that in another video there to utilize the Azure backend and change up how our code is set up. So now, make sure that's set, Azure DevOps. Now we'll go ahead and save this and we can change this to call it Terraform Release. And the folder you save it in, this is just where it gets saved at. You can you know, add or adjust that later. But I'm going to hit save and then create a release. So now anytime I make a change to my um, master folder, it's in, inside that Azure. Let's see if I have that one. I think I'm at a... Add a folder to workspace. And find the here we go. So Terraform. Add that. Oh, actually, it's already there. So see, I have a bunch of files that can be basically synced up. We'll actually go into another video and talk about how we can continuously set that up to always run the pipeline and the release. So we can see that it went through all the jobs successfully. So it initialized the job, installed Terraform, downloaded the artifact. Oh, so this is installing it, making sure the path variable um, goes to that directory. It runs the initialization. Then it does the plan. So as you can see, we have five things to add here. So then next time what we'll do is we'll add a job that will um, basically take the, um, take the plan and apply it. And then we can set up a continuous release to always run the pipeline and release every time we make changes to our code in Terraform. So again, that's it. If you have any questions in regards to how that's set up or you run into a problem um, with the agent, drop me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back with you. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.